My friend and I thought we'd do some YouTube tutorials on um, using Cubase and just little tips and things that we've kind of picked up along the way really that have helped us. Um, I tried to use some screen capture software to do this and these are the problems that I've had is that it didn't matter what software I picked, they're all free by the way, I'm too tight for that pain malarkey, but all the software that I used um, captured audio within Windows, so media player, things off the internet, my microphone, um, everything got picked up except for the audio in Cubase, um, or apparently any of the workstations, the, the doors. So the problem that I had was how was I going to get the audio to be captured from Cubase. Now I've tried, I've got a USB interface, I tried using the headphone output from there going into the built-in audio of the computer, that sounded rubbish. Um, I've looked at software online which people are trying to get you to buy as well that's also not really up my street so I managed to stumble across this program here by VB audio and it's called voice meter um, once again the tutorials on this people explaining how they got it to work and how they use it and it just wasn't working for me and it seems that the people that I'd watched their tutorials missed one important factor so here it is. So we've got Cubase open and we've got Voice Meter. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Devices, Device Setup, and where it says VST Audio System, we're going to change the ASIO driver from your sound card. Uh, in my case, it was the Focus Right USB 2. I'm going to change it to Voice Meter Virtual ASIO. Um, what that now does is when you go to your inputs and outputs by pressing F4 you'll see that my output is now voice meter virtual ASIO and it's VM 1 and 2. So apparently the problem is is that Cubase for some reason the audio runs straight from the software more or less straight out to the sound card. It bypasses Windows in some way. Don't ask me I'm not technical. But uh, yeah, the problem was was that the, the screen capture software wasn't able to pick up that audio because it wasn't running through Windows. So what this lovely little program does is, you can see my microphone there which is running through channel 1. Um, I've actually muted that because uh, if I unmute it, you, you get, get loads of silly feedback. So I've killed that. Um, but over here, virtual input is VB Audio Voice Meter. So if I just play something in Cubase, you can now see that we have the input running from, well, the output running from Cubase, sorry, into the input of this, which seems to get louder and louder, which obviously must then, it comes, if we go to recording devices, so it actually comes up as a recording device down here. Um, so without me waffling, so yeah, I've, I've, you've got two hard, hardware inputs on here. So you could have, in this case, although I haven't actually used it, I'm, I'm directly going into the software now. Um, but I've got my headset microphone, which I'm using. You could also have another one on uh, input two there. We've got the digital uh, audio workstation coming through in the virtual input. Uh, I've also got on the A1 is the output to my sound card and a two I forget is it's going to oh this is another program that I also downloaded it's off the same website um, VB audio virtual cable to be honest uh, I'm not really sure why I'm using that or if I could use the other one I'm not too sure but I think what I've done is if my memory serves me correct is I've selected an output from this software it starts to get complicated to VB audio virtual cable so now, let's play this song again, turn it down a bit for my ears, let's have a quick look at this, recording devices, oh there we go, so you can see I've got my microphone here, I'll try and speak a bit louder to talk over the music, um, and then we've got the, let's go back, we've got Cubase running into here, virtual input, then an output from here runs into the VB audio virtual cable which is now recognized as a recording device bloody hell and then um, if I can which I don't think I can in Microsoft Expression Encoder sorry, turn it off, it's 
to it in my head in. Um, yeah, in the actual software, this Microsoft Expression Encoder, you can then select the inputs. So, um, my microphone now, which is a USB headset for gaming, that that comes up uh, as an input, and also uh, virtual cable comes up as an input as well. So you can use both as recording inputs whilst you're doing your screen capture. I think that's everything. I mean, I, I haven't explained it overly well. But uh, yeah, I think the, the ASIO thing was the all important bit because, like I said, I'd watched people explain about the inputs and outputs probably better than I have. Um, but I didn't actually see anyone talk about going into devices, device setup, and changing your ASIOs and the outputs on F4, which will now route it to the software. And I believe that you have to have the software now open to play Cubase so you can hear it. But that's not a big issue. That suits me fine. Right, I think we're done.